Hi, Fran. Hi, Claire. How are you? I'm well. How are you? Congratulations on the result at the weekend. That must have felt like a really phenomenal result for the season. It was. It was. Thank you very much. Uh, it was a, a phenomenal result. Uh, it was a very good performance, uh, especially, uh, you know, in uh, defensive terms and, and also a uh, desire, attitude, passion. So I loved it. Um, and then, obviously, on top of that is despite the circumstances, uh, you know, yeah. facing a few injuries with one less day recovery, etc. So, you know, uh, I didn't feel for a second that we were the the unfitest team. Uh, if so, I would feel that we were the fittest. So I'm delighted with the performance and especially with the result and going through in the cup. Just on that quickly, the fitness issue. Um, obviously, Charlie had, uh, there was an injury issue with Charlie and we're waiting an update on Chloe Logan. Can you update us on that and the availability for the Hearts game? Uh, yeah, both out. Uh, no Chloe, no Charlie. Um, Charlie, hopefully, hopefully would be uh, soon. But I mean, she, she forced it against Glasgow City. She probably should have rested. But obviously, we know how important was that game. But she, she wasn't. She wasn't anywhere near. Not even sixty percent. So we, you know, we we won't risk anymore, and we we want Charlie back when she's hundred percent fit. And then Chloe, obviously, she, she needs to uh, meet the specialist uh, this week, but um, it's gonna be it's gonna be a long term injury. injury. Okay, um, just with this fixture going ahead this weekend, um, we've got obviously Rachel and Kelly and, and players off on international duty, Izzy as well. It was what was the thinking behind the decision? Other other fixtures have been called off or postponed this weekend. What was the decision behind? Was it just because we had fewer players away? Well, um, some of the players that being called, they weren't called. Uh, they were last minute called just because of other injuries. So we were counting on, on two more players that now are in international uh, duties. And the, the reason behind it is we didn't think uh, some of our players, like for example, Liv Chance, she got three games in a week. Uh, so we don't think a player should be exposed to three games, go international three games, come back and, and a week of another three games. It's too many games, uh, especially at the intensity that we like to play. So we thought, okay, we got a slightly weaker squad this weekend, but at least we got the, the, the time to recover, the time to prepare properly for each game, rather than hurry in a week where, you know. Um, so yeah, we decided to play. Obviously, we got a slightly weaker, weaker squad in terms of many players uh, away, but I think the depth of the squad is very good and, and the team is playing well. Uh, we are training well and, you know, we will... We will go into the game with, you know, with the desire and the and the passion of getting the three points. And I think if we play if we play our normal, uh, we you know we could get the three points. Um, just on the international break as well. Just I want to mention Kelly getting her first Scotland cap, and you must be very proud of her for doing that. That's a big achievement. And do you expect call ups in the future from some of these Celtic players that are eligible for Scotland? Uh, that's probably Clara, a question for Pedro, not for me. Uh, you know, if I was, you know, it would be more players of Celtic right, right now in the national team. But obviously, every manager sees things different. Uh, but I'm very proud of Kelly. I'm very proud because uh, it's not easy. She's part time. She, you know, she got a full time job as well, very demanding. And to be able to juggle with both and and do both things so well, and now representing her national team, I know it means the world to her. It means the world to us, to the teammates. So yeah, it's a, it's a proud moment for for every single Celtic fan and especially for Kelly and Kelly's family. Yeah, thank you very much. We'll see you on Sunday. Good luck for that. Thank you very much. See you Sunday. I just wonder what kind of bounce that result last weekend might give you. If it just might uh, give an injection of belief and confidence into the squad. Yeah, I mean the message was very clear to the girls. This team has has fall before and we will fall in the future. But for me, the main thing is after the fall how we react. And I think every time uh, last year happened after a 3 0 defeat against Glasgow City, uh, where we were uh, terrible that game. Since then, you know, unbeaten, we won every game uh, left apart from one draw, and then we qualified for Champions League. So the, the reaction was superb. This time it was the same. It was a very, very hard game on Thursday. Uh, everything, you know, uh, refereeing, uh, injuries, uh, you know, um, control, but later not chances so everything went wrong uh, it was very hard to take especially because important players were out and um, that it really affects us and it was very important to, to bounce back and I think the way we bounce back it couldn't get any better against our biggest rival in a game when we are the massive underdogs because of the players we are missing 
one day one day less of resting, which you know I thought we would feel in the legs. We didn't because obviously the, here we were very strong in the mind. So yeah, uh, I think that that's a very is massive result for us. It gave us so much belief that regardless of missing top players or players that are doing so well for us, the strength is in the team. The strength is in the squad, and and you know we this attitude, this this fighting spirit is is you know um, we always stick to it and. And yeah, we, we, we bounce back I, and I think we are going to have a very good end of the season. How do you feel about the league campaign? Is is the title now gone for you or do you still have confidence that you could get back into it? I mean, it's, a, it's a, a still still a few games to play. Uh, I I honestly don't think uh, Rangers are going to lose uh, three, three games and then draw another one. I think they haven't done it. We are the only team that has beat them this year. Uh, nobody else has. So right now, four games... Uh, I think it's very, very difficult. So for us to win the league, we need, uh, we depend on other results. Uh, so we don't want to think about that. We think about, you know, obviously uh, there is other goals that are more achievable and we need to try to win every single game from here till the end of the season, which will be very challenging. But, you know, if we can do well in the league, uh, even if we finish third, uh, but we manage to get into another cup final and maybe even win the cup, I think it would be, uh, it would be historically the best season ever. And that's what we are here to do. We we'll try to make history. We did last year and, and we, we, we will try to do it again this year. Thanks, Fran. Good luck. Thank you very much. Hi, Fran. Um, you told us back in December um, that you were happy with the squad and, and you weren't looking to add in the January window. Um, looking back um, on that now, um, Charlie's out. We've, for different reasons, we've lost first and second pick goalkeeper for this weekend. Um, we've got, as we talked about last week, such a um, brilliant young team. But do you think that the club and yourself really need to look at adding um, a few experienced players just to take us to the next level? Um, because it looks like we could um, end up, as you say, with a brilliant season with a couple of cups. But um, we've just had that sort of a frustration in the league, maybe because the squad is the depth in the squad isn't there, although the quality is. Well, obviously we we, uh, we don't have a budget that others think go. Uh, we don't have the resources and, and the possibility of signing full time players uh, as many as other teams can. Uh, that's how it is. At the time when you are in December, we were very happy with the squad. Obviously, that that time we didn't have any injury. And, and Rachel Donaldson and Kate, uh, Kathleen McGovern uh, were still our players. We didn't know they were going to leave. Obviously, they, they, they wanted different things, uh, different aspects of their lives, and, and they decided to move on. Uh, but there are two players that we were counting on. Uh, obviously, we, we lost both. Uh, we didn't have too much time to, to you know, start scouting. And, and, uh, so then we brought Annie, uh, which I think you know, she, she did very well, uh, second half against Ranger when she came on. But yeah, we are, with the injuries now, we are a little bit short. Uh, tomorrow we will have three, three of our under, four potentially of our under 19s, not tomorrow on Sunday, in the team. But you know, this is what we are here to try to develop players, to try to to uh, to build something in the long term, not only in the short term. But of course, we will try in summer. We will try. We are already doing our homework, and we will try to bring. Uh, Top signings like this year, I think we've done with with the players we brought. We brought players that you know are probably the best signings we ever done, and, and we will try to do it again, one more time again for next year, um, within our budget, of course. The goal from Clarissa Larissa last weekend was down to more determination, and you know, of, it just summed up the the Celtic spirit this season. I think the way she actually. Um, nobody thought she was getting that ball. She was third favourite for it, and it ended up in the back of the net. Yeah, that, that's the perfect, the perfect summary. Uh, that's that's who we are, you know. Uh, and that happened last year when we were the third horse, etc. Is you know when nobody believed, but we do believe. We do believe, and we go. Uh, that's why we won the game as well. We were one one. Uh, they have a good spell where we have to defend a lot, very well, but we have to defend a lot. But we, the draw wasn't good for us, so we keep believing. And again, a ball of desire, of going with everything, and, and then we managed to, to score the winner. And uh, as you say, Clarissa's goal, she got a clear disadvantage against two players, and, and she got there just pure with belief and, and, and you know, passion and desire, and, and work hard because you need to sprint 100% to get there. So yeah, that's a, a, it's a good summary. Uh, that's who we are. We might not have the, the, the most expensive players in the league or the most talented or experienced players in the league, but every player that we got, they, they give 120% for the, for the badge and for their teammates. And that's our strength. 
If I can ask you about the news this week about um, the restructuring of the women's game next season to come under um, the remit of the SPFL. And what are the benefits to Celtic and are Celtic fully supportive of this plan? Hey, I, I had a meeting on, on uh, Monday with our board where I will know the ins and outs. Obviously, we, with the games, preparation, etc., I, have, I haven't been uh, too much involved in that uh, aspect. But for what, I, for what I learned, 17 clubs were, were totally uh, for it. So I believe when everyone who got the details and information go for it, it would be a, a very good thing. Um, so I'm, I'm positive. I think it would be a great thing. But uh, I cannot give you much details because at the moment my focus is obviously on on the three points on Sunday. Okay, can I ask you about the Scottish Cup draw, Aberdeen away? We were up there in the first game of the season. Um, it was a 4-2, I think. Um, good game, and they've obviously settled into the, the top division now, so you're expecting a tough challenge in the quarter-final? Yeah, a very tough challenge. I mean, they, they beat the Spartans 4-2. Uh, you know, very dominant display. Uh, I think they got a young team, but uh, they are getting more experience now. They've been competing in, in the division for a few months now. Uh, and they are getting better. They are getting better. I think it's a it's a well drilled team, a lot of energy, uh, brave, and and it's gonna be a big challenge. It was already when we played in the first game there, and they were is the their very first game in this division. Now which they got more experience, they got a few very good results. I mean they are middle of the table. That tell you everything in their first year after promotion. It's very impressive. Uh, the work they are doing uh, very good, and and we expect a very tough game. So we will have to be at our best to to try to get to the semi final, which for sure is a dream of us.